We'll have much more with them in our next hour of Balance of Power. But we want to turn now to a representative in Congress from the state of New York. Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis is with me now. She represents New York's 11th congressional district. Her constituency covers Staten Island and Southern Brooklyn, so areas of New York that are very much affected by this news. Congresswoman, thank you so much for joining us here on Balance of Power. You already have called today for either the resignation of Eric Adams or his removal by Governor Hochul. Why exactly does he need to resign with not being found yet guilty of these crimes when Donald Trump is still running for president, having been felt guilty of crimes and indicted on many others? Well, first of all, um, we have a city right now that is in peril. Um, and I don't I think that this is a major distraction for the mayor. I think the mayor needs to focus on these uh, serious charges. Um, you have to remember that there are multiple people within his cabinet that have resigned. So I think this is uh, really the tip of the iceberg, uh, but it has made this city uh, really uh, failing. It's failing and people are suffering as a result. We have so many problems right now, skyrocketing crime. We have this mass illegal migration. We have our hotels have been taken over. Uh, with these lucrative contracts uh, to be operated as migrant shelters and the people in them are committing crimes um, and they are uh, wreaking havoc in our city, rapes, shooting at police officers. Um, we have an education system that is failing and a chancellor that just said he was going to uh, resign at the end of the year. We have a police commissioner recently resigned uh, when we have serious uh, public safety issues. So the city is becoming uh, completely mismanaged and the mayor is distracted. And the best thing for him to do is to step aside to deal with these issues. Um, and, and that is, I think, the best, th best thing for the city, although I am concerned that we'll get, we may end up with somebody worse uh, than Mayor, mayor Adams. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I, I think it's the right thing to do if we are going to have any hope of restoring some sanity to this city to make it governable again and to, to really give New Yorkers the government that it deserves. Well, of course, if he does choose to resign, which at this point he maintains he will not, uh, acting mayor would be put into place, then a special election would be held uh, to choose a replacement. Congresswoman, would you be interested in the role? Should it be vacated? Look, okay. you know, I ran in uh, 2017. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, people have made it clear they don't necessarily want a Republican uh, being the mayor of New York City. Um, I think that we we have to, though, collectively find a candidate that is palatable across the political spectrum. Somebody that could have a, a, a like a business background, um, uh, somebody who can really take the problems that we're facing as a city and bring some management. One of the biggest problems facing our city right now is the fact that they're contracting hundreds of billions of dollars out to like nonprofit organizations. Th this is work that should be doing number one in within the city government. And the government has just gotten so big and so broad, they're outsourcing so much of its responsibility uh, in areas where the city shouldn't even be focusing. So we need to get the city budget under control. We need to make sure that we're actually using taxpayer money wisely for the things that we need in the city, transportation, infrastructure, public safety, a good education for our children. Those should be the top focuses, not providing billions of dollars in uh, taxpayer funds to citizens of other countries who came into the country legally uh, and are even committing crimes. Mm -hmm. So I think that, uh, you know, I would like to see somebody like a like a Mike Bloomberg run again, somebody who has a business background, uh, knows how to manage a large organization, uh, and somebody who would be more of a centrist that Republicans and Democrats and independents can embrace because this city has gone way too far to the left and we're paying for the policies of, of, of Bill de Blasio and Eric Adams. But remember, the okay. reason why this is a sanctuary city not deporting people committing crimes in our city is because of Bill de Blasio and the far left council. So we need somebody who's going to bring it more to the center. At this point, Cong Congressman, I will disclose that Michael Bloomberg is the founder and majority owner of Bloomberg LP, which owns oh. <laughs> Bloomberg Media and this uh, radio network. But we uh, appreciate your uh, thoughts as always. I, I do wonder about your thoughts as well and what this does. We know that New York's congressional districts are very much battleground zones in this election. Some of your colleagues are in tough races. Do you think whatever detrimental effect this may have on New York City, there is some benefit for your colleagues in this news, does it make it easier for Republicans to keep the House? 
Well, look, I think that the fact that um, there's been quite a few Democrats that have had to resign in disgrace at the city and state level over the past few years may may bring some uh, benefit to Republicans. I think maybe people see that, uh, you know, we need some type of balance and common sense in our government and elect honorable people, not just by party label, but people that are actually going to do the job and do it right and do it honestly. But certainly I see no no. Uh, no joy in uh, seeing my city being torn apart right now and the the issues that we're facing that de need desperate leadership and management real management um and 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 I'm very concerned about the future of our city I've been concerned for quite some time yeah. um over the late last eight years it has taken a real downward turn and we need to put somebody in the helm that is going to correct this ship or else we're going to have real fiscal problems for forever. And I don't know that New York City can okay. return if we don't if we don't fix it now. Congresswoman, I have less than a minute left here, but one of your Republican colleagues has also faced some allegations within the last week about uh, uh, corruption at, and more specifically actually paying uh, those close to him to serve in his office with taxpayer dollars. Anthony Despacito, should he resign as well? Well, uh, what we've done in the past, we refer it to ethics committee to do an investigation. Mm -hmm. um, based on what I've seen so far, there has been nothing that's been uh, that violated any laws taking place. But um, should we find out more information, um, then then we should t handle that accordingly when the time is uh, appropriate. As you know, I've had no problem calling for George Santos to resign. I voted to expel him. I do you remember. Uh, so I have no problem calling on those of my party when, when it's proven that they've done something illegal and wrong. All right, Congresswoman, really appreciate you hopping on with us as we deal with this historic news in New York. That is Dem Republican Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis of New York. Appreciate your time joining us on a day in which, as we've been telling you here,